Hey, welcome to another video here in the People List app. In the last video, we created this uh, second screen where we can have an intent call another activity. Now we want to be able to capture data from this form and click OK and come back into our original activity. So let's do some coding here. So the main activity, just to recall and recap what we did before, the main activity has an intent inside of the onClick listener. So intent I tells us to get the context of our current location and open a new activity. So we'll do the same kind of programming in the second um, new person form. So let's go to here, new person form. Now we have to create references to the buttons and set an intent on them. So the first thing we have to do is tell the uh, program what buttons and edit text there are to listen for. So we have a button OK, we have a button cancel. In edit text, we have an edit text name, we have an edit text age, and an edit text for picture number. So I'm getting all of these directly from the uh, layout. So these two buttons here, cancel and OK, are obviously listed in, in the uh, component tree. However, the include came from a component that was nested into here. So uh, these three are from the uh, partial form, you might call it. So the add person form as these guys here. We're ignoring the IV picture icon, it's just a placeholder, it doesn't actually affect the data entry. Okay, back into our new person form Java code. So we have an OK button, we're going to focus on him first. Now let's make a uh, actual reference to that and then make a listener. Alright, so here's the code. I'm going to first of all find view by ID in the layout and assign that ID number to this variable button OK. Then, in button OK, we can set an onclick listener, and a new onclick listener goes with that. So now we have code that will respond to a click. So inside of the onclick on uh, function, we need to have a new intent. So the intent is going to try to call back the original main activity window. So mainactivity.class is where we're going. The second step in the in intent process is to do start activity and we will send it the intent that we created on the previous line, letter I. So it looks to me like we got the first window open. Let's click the Add button. So the second activity is open now, and this OK button should now be active. We click him, and we are back to the original. So we have two navigation buttons now that can get us between the two activities. Now, I can't actually pass any data yet. It's just a button that does navigation. So in the next step here, let's capture the values from these edit text areas and send them back as a message to the main activity. So if I'm going to capture these values for the edit text, I need to define these variables. So the first step is to capture the uh, actual ID numbers of these elements on the layout. So edit text age, edit text name, and edit text picture number are all found by find view by ID number. So let's set up the plan for what we're going to program next. First of all, I want to get the strings from the edit text view objects. So that means name, age, and picture number. Then the second is I'm going to put these strings into a special message for the activity, the main activity. So there's a communication between activities. And then third, let's just start the main activity again with the code that we just wrote a few minutes ago. So I'm going to define three new variables, one called new name, one called new age, and one called new picture number. These three strings will be captured from the edit text um, properties called get text. And get text needs to be converted to a string. So we have three new properties that we've just captured from the data entry form. So the next goal is to put these strings into a message for main activity. We have to do that after we created the intent. So an intent has I dot put extra as a method that we can use. So you can put a numbered pair together or, num or pairs of strings together. So we're using strings. I'm going to say the string called name is new, na new name. The label called age is for new age. The label called for picture, picture number is new picture number. So this will put in a special piece of uh, message that will allow one activity to communicate with another. Alright, so those put extras will send a message to the main activity. Now how does the main activity receive these messages? So now we're going to have to go back and add some more code. 
So the main activity is going to receive the code inside of the onCreate method. So I'm going to uh, insert some new items here probably before the onClickListener. All right, so here's the outline of what we're going to have to do to make this work. So we're going to listen for incoming messages. So we're going to just check to see if there are any intents sent to our application. If there are, then we're going to capture incoming data. So all of the put items will be received here. And then the last two steps are to create a new person object, add him to the list, and update the adapter so that the list will display the changes. So the first thing we'll do here is in the area called Listen for Incoming Changes. So the uh, class that we're looking for here is called a bundle. I'm going to name it as Incoming Messages. So I'm going to uh, assign it to something called a get intent dot get extras. So how do we tell if it actually worked or not? So it's an if. And we're going to say if incoming messages does not equal to null. So the first time we launch the application, there will be no incoming extras. There will be nothing sent to main activity. However, if the uh, data entry form calls the main activity, then this will actually have some data in it. So if we, um, if we forget to put this if message in here, we'll have an application crash. So the first thing we'll do is we'll capture the name. So string of name is equal to incoming messages dot get string and the key. It looks like I don't know how to type. That's supposed to say incoming messages, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're also going to capture the int of an age. So let's go to incoming messages, get string, and the next one is called age. And you can see that we have an error. It says you're trying to take a string and assign it to an integer. Not good. Won't work. However, Assuming that the user typed in an actual integer, we can type in integer.parseInt. And that will take a string and interpret it as an integer. So obviously, if the user types in letters instead of numbers, this application will crash at this line. So no data checking so far, but anyway, we're going to trust the user, which is always a bad idea, right? Never trust the user. So we'll do the same thing for integer on the uh, picture number. So if we've got all these uh, uh, three items interpreted correctly, we should be able to build a person. So let's uh, move down the page here, and let's move this uh, bracket down to the bottom. So what else did I put in my uh, comments here? Capture the incoming data. Well, actually, we did that. So let's cut and paste. So we have the actual title in front of where we put the code. OK, create a new person object. That's the next job. So person. P equals a new person. And we need three inputs. So we have a name, age, and picture number. Well, that was easy. Now the next is to add the person to the uh, list. So what list are we talking about? That was my friends dot get my friends list dot add person P. So where did my friends come from? You might have to recall from a previous video, we defined a list of friends here. Uh, so my friends is an actual variable that's in the main activity. So we've added an item called p. Now we need to update the adapter, it says. So the adapter only listens to changes when you tell it something changed. So adapter dot, and there is a section called notify. Notify data set changed. And so that is supposed to update the adapter so the uh, list view changes as well. Well, let's see if this works. Let's run the program and try to enter a new person. So here it goes. I'm going to add a new guy to the list. And let's see. Today, Karen is coming to join our team. Karen is age 43, and we're going to use picture number 21. And Karen shows up on the list. Hooray! OK, let's see if it works again. I'm going to put in Aaron. He should be first in the list, right? He's 42, and he is using picture 2. Aaron shows up at the bottom of the list. So that's the next job. We've got to have these uh, items up here at the top, active, sorting. But this is a big accomplishment. we got data transferred to our form, and it's updating on their list, and it doesn't crash. So congratulations if you got this far. 
Uh, that'll be enough for this video. In the next, we will do sorting.